Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., civil rights icon, who lost his life when he was fighting for democracy and moving humanity forward. Never in my 56 years on this planet Earth would I think I would be doing a video addressing one group of people who invoke his name every year on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and it's a bunch of BS, and another group who now attacks him and wants to rewrite his legacy. First, Republicans in power. I'm so sick and tired of you invoking his name on Martin Luther King Jr. Day when you do nothing for the African-American community. You voted against the Voting Rights Act, the John Lewis bill. You don't care. You have no diversity other than Tim Scott, and he's questionable in the Senate. Byron Donald's in the Congress. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I know there's a couple other in the Congress, but they're not even worth mentioning. Then you have some African-American social media influencers that are half my age in some cases that are attacking Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Never in my life would I think I would see an African-American attack him. But I'm going to say this to that group. You're only able to do that because that civil rights icon lost his life so you have the opportunity to do the things that you do. And this is how you repay him, by disrespecting him. As well, this gray in my beard comes wisdom and knowledge and life. And here's the thing. When I was much younger, you would go into somebody's house, an African-American's house, and I can guarantee you three things, especially when I grew up in the South. One, that your grandmother, your great-grandmother had, or mother, had plastic on the couch. And if you lifted that plastic, whether you were a guest or you lived there, you were getting it. You were getting your ass torn up. That's number one. Number two, it was a Bible because they sincerely believed in the Lord. And number three, last but not least, there was a picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the wall. My father marched with Dr. King in 63. He told me stories about him when I was growing up. When he died, when he was murdered, my dad cried and was just devastated because he knew what this country lost. But you Republicans want to evoke his name and you also co-sign on Donald Trump's BS when he had the audacity to stand in front of Mark Robinson in North Carolina, who's running for governor and is a vile, evil individual and one French fry away from a heart attack. I despise him so much. I just told him, let's get in the ring for charity. You outweigh me by 200 pounds. But what did he do? He didn't run from me because he's incapable of running. And that goes for his co-signing one French fry away from having a heart attack like Yolanda. She's just as rotten. But Trump had the audacity to say that he was Martin Luther King Jr. on steroids, and he hopes that Robinson doesn't take this as an insult. You social media influencers who attack Dr. King, that's your guy too, Trump, right? Look in the mirror, and I'm telling you now, I don't claim to be black. That's not my thing. But I, what I do claim is that your grandparents, and maybe even some of your parents, and definitely your great-grandparents, would be disgusted knowing that some of you have the audacity to attack Dr. King after everything he did and gave his life. I'm going to read a lyric from a song written by you two, a beloved song called Pride in the Name of Love. Early evening, April 4, a shot rings out in the Memphis sky. They could not take your pride in the name of love. You need to learn your history. And I'll close with Dr. King.